Iowa State will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. And the defense just swarmed over him on that one. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Four down, four down. Check number 19, check number 19. Ready! Black 52. Black 98. Here we go. Black 98. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. Loss of 50 yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Check that, check that. We got Mike 52 right here. Let's go! Why did he ace? Why did he ace? Right. Wants to go long and does. Caught sideline and he stays in. Boy, did he fire that baby down the field. There aren't too many quarterbacks in the country who can make that throw. And the ones that can are playing on Sunday. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Pass complete and taken down immediately. And a pickup of about seven. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Hit immediately. They'll line it up again on third down. And down he goes at the 40 yard line. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Cross is out to the tailback on the screen. They'll bring him down at about the 39 yard line. That brings up second and nine. From the 39 yard line, second down. Watch Mike, watch Mike. Go. Now he tries to buy some time. Looking for the corner. Brought down at the 30-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Fires quickly and it's picked off. And look at the big guy go. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. They hand it off. He's tackled around the 22-yard line. That brings up second and 13. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike 52. Ready. And here's a quick throw. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Make it third and 13. Three down, three down. No, 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 check that, check that. We got Mike 52 right here. Ready. Black, black, black. He's hit and taken down. Good possession there for the defense. That makes it fourth and inches. The 
He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Brought down at the 23. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Iowa State up seven points. And he's leveled at the 31-yard line. I think it was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. He did not get to the first down marker. Loss of two by the halfback. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He fields a punt at the 20. Fumble, loose ball. And they finally tackle him at the 20. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one Maybe thing. But when you see two remaining. defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence Evidence to overturn this call. Play. The ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep, those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Catches it, but they knock him out before he can get back to the original line of scrimmage. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. A little toss across the middle. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. That'll bring up third and six. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. Caught with room to work. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. made at about the 47 yard line. That brings up second and nine. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands. Seven nothing, Cyclone. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Watch 52. Ready. Flag 98. Hut, hut. Flag 98. Hut. Quick pass. Man open. And he dropped it. Third down. And they need to get it inside the 44. Three down. Three down. Watch 52. And he's taken down at the 45 yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Oh, excellent punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Iowa State is up a score. And they got him. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. So the sack makes this a second and long. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down to the 38-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. And they make the stop around the 36-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it From the 36-yard line. Second down. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. Number 10 makes the tackle at the 32 yard line. That'll bring up 34. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at about the 31. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Nice run to the outside. Makes it out to about the 13. From the 13 yard line, it's first down. Steps up. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Well, you can really mess with an offensive game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That brings up third as well. From the 14-yard line, third down. Three down, three down. Where's 52? He's got it, touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 37-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. You see an offense open it up and take a few chances. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's got an opening. And he is drilled at the 36-yard line. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. You wonder now if this guy will get alligator arms the next time the ball comes his way. It's been known to happen. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick strike, and he drops it. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He heaves it deep. It's picked off, and it's the sophomore. And he tackles him hard at the one. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. First down. They're deep in their own territory. The halfback with a carry. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. They're packed in tight on the line. And down he goes around the one yard line. Gain of a yard by the fullback. It's third down. Got to be careful down here, deep in your own territory. Hands it off. They'll bring him down at the two. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Iowa State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Not a good spot to have to punt from either. And this one is a beauty. From the 15. That ball wasn't in the air very long, but it got a really good bounce to tack on some extra yards. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Gets it out. He's met immediately. That's a loss of about five. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. From their own 17-yard line. It's second down. Go. One, 64. One, 64. Gets to about the 17 yard line. So at the end of the half, we're even at seven in this one. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. 
But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games. And you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game. We're set to resume play. Excellent kick. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Hand off, and he's met immediately. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Quick throw, and that was a really well-played series by the defense. Very nicely done here by the defense. They did a good job of keeping them in check on their side of the field. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. Booming kick. And down he goes at the 31. The time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. Makes it out to about the 40. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. That's good enough to pick up the first down. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. He gets rid of this one. From their own 44-yard line, second down. They'll give it off here. Nice run there. The tailback picks up a solid seven yards on the counter play. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's tackled at the 48 yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. And he's tackled around the 40 yard line. From the 40 yard line, first down. Runs right for a nice game. Here's the eighth play of the series. He 
He's at the 20. Brought down at the 17-yard line. From the 17-yard line, it's first down. He's out of bounds at the 15. And this is the 10th play in the drive. That makes it second and eight. And he just gets rid of it. Here's third and eight. Ball on the 15-yard line. Let's go! Zips it to the back. And they hit him in the backfield. And they back up three yards on that play. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That brings up fourth and 11. Iowa could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Iowa is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they push him out at the 33-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That, that makes, makes it, it second, second and two. And two. Oh, oh, Tackle oh, at about the 37-yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. That's a deal of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Flips it middle to the running back. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. It's third down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He throws it. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. That's a game of 26 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Bounds at the 34-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Quick strike, and he can't pull it in. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over. Iowa State is down three and looking to tie it up. It's up, and he splits the uprights. Great snap and a perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow-through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. And a 10-10 tie in this game. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second, second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 28. Hey, my 52, my 52. Here he goes. He's taken down to the 37-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, this one's all even at 10. Welcome back to the action, fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Keep it on the ground with a tailback. Nice run there as they work the outside. That's good to gain five yards. That brings them second and five. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Four down, four down. Where's 52? Red 85. Red 85. Gets to about the 44-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it He breaks it. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 50. From midfield. First down. He's scrambling, and they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. Here's a counter play. Got the corner. He gets to about the 34-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. From the 34-yard line, first down. Up the middle for a nice game. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play-action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at. But make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. It's the 11th play of the drive. Less than three minutes in the game. converts the extra point. It was an 11-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes at the 32. Reception. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires it. 
fires out to his receiver. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 34. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. He's hit and taken down. Number 22 makes the tackle at the 39-yard line. First down. Fires across the middle. That makes it second and six. Just under two to go in the game. He flings it. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Scrambling around, and they get the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. We're at play number nine of this current drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. That makes it first and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires it quickly. And he's got it. Going the other way now. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. First and 10. Ball on the 20. A little over a minute in the game. They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Hands off left, and he's brought down quickly. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football, but for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Two times, two times. Two down, two down. Mike 52, Mike 52. Ready! Black and five! Black and five! And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. And the ball game's over. The Hawkeyes get the win, 17-10. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.